How you doing? My name is Trent Rodriguez here at JTEC today, and I'm going to be demonstrating how we're going to be using our arc welder t today. So, I got my piece of metal that I'm going to weld. Um, but first off, we're going to start by just making sure your welding spot is clean. So, I mean, this thing is welded all over. Just clean off a spot right here. So if you like have paint or anything on the uh, spot you're about to weld, that'll actually mess up the weld. So you're probably gonna wanna clean that off with a grinder or a buff. So just make your welding spot clean. And you're definitely gonna need your, your mask. Safety goggles just in case anything gets under your mask because the sparks do <coughs> fly up. Got my welding gloves. All right. And it's actually set at 90 amps. So the amps are based off of how thick the rod you're using is that you're gonna weld. So this rod is a 6013. So I'm actually gonna be welding on 90 amps. So this rod isn't that big, all right? So my spot's cleaned up. This is grounded. I'm actually grounded right here. It's cleaned up, it's grounded. Uh, you always want to have this not on anything when you're trying to switch on because it can it can like weld whatever you have it on or like create sparks all right you're gonna want to flip the switch turn it on and weld your little bead Before you set this back down again, you're gonna to want to turn this off. I usually take my stick out, set this down. There, it's off. And you're gonna to want to clean off your weld. All right. This weld looks pretty decent. And make sure you just clean it off. Make sure it looks nicer. Yep. Right. And that would be how you use a arc welder. So I mean, it's pretty easy. Well, it's not easy. You gotta like do it a couple times to actually know. But my name's Trent here at JTIG, and that's how you use an arc welder. <laughs>